it's, it's always happened to me. I have to arrange the microphone. Okay, uh, first of all, I would like to thank the organizers, Terrapin, for invite ANCAP to, to this event and all the audience to, for staying to, to this last presentation. I know it's, it's difficult, a very long day, very good presentation. So um, my presentation uh, will be focused on deep water oil and gas opportunities in Uruguay and some of the strategies that we are developing to attract uh, international oil companies. But uh, before I, I go to, to this main topic, I will show a few slides uh, about Uruguay, uh, our country, and ANCAP, uh, our company, the national oil company of, of Uruguay. So um, Uruguay um, is a small country in South America between Argentina and Brazil. It has um, roughly a, a surface of uh, 176,000 square kilometers, uh, a population of 3.2 uh, million. So it's a small country. Um, one of, of the things that uh, most uh, distinguish Uruguay is that it's very well uh, ranked among South America and in the world regard regarding several index such as um, low corruption, democracy index, global peace index. Uh, this uh, makes Uruguay a very good place to live and also to do business. Uh, Uruguay was uh, the first country uh, in of South America uh, regarding foreign, foreign direct investment uh, that represent 5% of the GDP last year. So uh, ANCAP, ANCAP uh, is the national oil company of Uruguay. Uh, our main business is uh, oil and gas. ANCAP was created in 1931, and it's a group of companies, of 21 companies. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we, do, we do downstream, we have a, a refinery in Montevideo, uh, but we also do upstream. Uh, but uh, we are in other business such as biofuels, uh, electric energy from biomass, cement, alcohol, and others. And we, we not only have business in, in Uruguay, but in Argentina and other uh, places in South America. So uh, entering to um, the oil and gas activity in Uruguay. Well, it's important to remark for those of you that uh, don't know our country, there's no production of oil and gas in, in, in Uruguay. Uh, uh, by hydrocarbon laws, uh, the fields, uh, all the fields and extracted substance, substance are uh, property of the states. Uh, the executive branch is the one that sets the policy regarding uh, hydrocarbon activity. ANCAP is the organism that can develop this activity, exploration or production, by itself or by third parties. Uh, in that case, ANCAP uh, can sign and has signed uh, exploration and production contracts with international oil companies. The, these international oil companies will access to competitive, competitive biddings uh, or direct contracting that uh, depends on the areas. We have for the offshore uh, bid rounds. We are organizing a bid round every three years. And in, case, uh, in the case of the onshore, we have a, an open door system. So uh, as, as I mentioned, I'm going to focus, fo fo focus in the exploration activity in the offshore. This picture shows um, what uh, the current uh, activity exploration. We have 10 blocks where um, right now uh, there, there is activity. Um, these, these are the results, this, this activity is the result of uh, two bid rounds. The first bid round that uh, was launched in 2009 and the second one in 2012. So uh, uh, as a product of the first bid round, uh, we uh, ANCAP awarded two blocks to a consortium formed by three companies, uh, YPF, Petrobras, 
these two gloves were awarded in the first round to Petrobras, YPF, and Gauss. Uh, Petrobras is the operator of block, of block number four, and YPF is the operator of block number three. Uh, these these uh, two blocks that were awarded in this first round, they they are near uh, near the um, finishing th this first exploration period. So these companies have to decide if they continue to the next exploration period or they relinquish area. Uh, we already know that Petrobras uh, is relinquished this area. The consortium is relinquished relinquish this area. Uh, YPF has performed um, 3D seismic in this area and Shell is farming in, uh, Petrobras is, is farming out. So probably uh, they're going to continue in, in this block. So if they continue, they have to drill uh, two wells in the, in the next exploration period. For the Uruguay round two, we awarded uh, eight blocks to uh, only to European company. Uh, three, three blocks were awarded to BP, other three to BG, another block for Total and Talo, uh, in which block uh, last year Intex farming. So uh, as, as I mentioned, that was the result of, of the two rounds. The first one that we did in 2009 were six companies qualified. Uh, those companies were BHP, Gauss, PDVSA from Venezuela, Petrobras, Plus Petrol, and YPF. Th these two blocks were awarded to, to that consortium. And the exploration activity, uh, mostly uh, li licensing existing 3D seismic data and some G and G that they did, was uh, that, that exploration commitment was around 10 to 20 million dollars. Then, for the Uruguay round two that was launched in 2012, uh, 11 companies qualified. Those were Apache, Vichy, BP, Sexa, Edison, ExxonMobil, Murphy, Shell, Tallow, Total, and YPF. 19 offers uh, were submitted by nine companies. Eight areas received offers. Uh, and the total amount of a committed exploratory program was around $1.5 billion. So uh, the exploration increased immensely from the first to the second bid round. So um, this bid round was um, considered by um, several companies uh, that one of the best of, of the world in 2012 for a um, frontier area. Uh, companies such as Will McKenzie that analyze uh, this kind of thing. Um, and you can see in this slide uh, what was the committed exploratory program for, for the Uruguay round two. Um, one deep water exploratory well. Uh, it wasn't mandatory a uh, 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 water well in the first exploration period, but total uh, committed an exploratory well that will be drilled next year. This will be in deep waters between 2,000 to 3,000 meters, and it will be the first uh, exploration well since 38 years in Uruguay offshore. Besides that, also uh, the companies offer more than 33,000 square kilometers of 3D seismic, and that represents one third of the offshore area of Uruguay. Uh, and other committed exploratory program were uh, 3,000 kilometers of 3D seismic and 13,000 square kilometers of 3D el electromagnetism. As I mentioned, the total amount of all this exploration activity is around $1.5 billion. So uh, what's the current exploration activity in the offshore? Uh, the companies uh, has already um, finalized two months ago all the uh, 3D seismic area. This seismic area uh, committed for the Uruguay round two plus the area that YPF covered here in, in its blocks uh, gives a total amount of uh, 38,000 square kilometers of 3D seismic. Most 
of these surveys, 3D surveys, were um, under exclusive contracts between the oil company and the service company. But in the case of uh, the blocks from of BP and Tallow, this area right here, this particular 3D seismic survey was made under a multi-client contract uh, between PGS and, and, and CAP. Uh, that's why it's, it's important to mention that because uh, the multi-client agreement is one of the mechanisms that ANCAP uh, has used uh, with uh, service companies and they were very good uh, because they saw that uh, these uh, big rounds are a good opportunity to acquire the data and that be licensed by oil companies. So right now in fourth, we have five um, multi-client contracts the one that I just mentioned with PGS, other two contra uh, contracts uh, with a Spectrum and, and ION for 2D seismic, and also other two that are geological report and geochemical report for uh, Robertson and SIP. And there are other five uh, companies that are under negotiation with ANCAP to, to make a multi-client contract to acquire seismic so the main announcement that I, I have to make is that uh, we are um, going to, uh, ANCAP has decided to, to make a, a new bid round. It, it is already approved by uh, the board of ANCAP and also the executive branch. Uh, the official announcement for this uh, bid round will be in Montevideo, Uruguay in December of this year and the closing will be in mid-2015. The final schedule, uh, the definitive bid round terms, areas, and contracts will be available uh, since the official announcement in December. So uh, which areas will be uh, offered in this new bid round are these three areas. We still have to define uh, which are going to be the blocks, probably there are going to be eight blocks uh, offered, but uh, they classify in three types of area, shallow waters, intermediate to deep waters, and ultra deep waters. Uh, one of, of uh, each of these area will have different requirements um, to, qu to qualify for companies. They can qualify as um, non-operator, as operator for shallow waters or for operator for deep waters, depending on the capacity and experience of, of companies. So as, as I mentioned, uh, the bid round terms uh, will be ready for the official announcement in December, but uh, they are going to be very similar uh, to the ones that we use in Uruguay round two that were very successful. Um, we are thinking to have a specific contract for the blocks of ultra deep waters because these areas are between 3,000 to 4,000 meters. That's uh, ultra deep water in, in the limit of technology. So we are deciding that um, companies that uh, is go are going to be interested in these areas have a bigger exploration period um, to decide uh, when when to drill. So I'm going to talk just a little bit about geology, about the prospects of the offshore of Uruguay. We have uh, several prospects, but uh, I just want to mention two type of plays. One of them related to this area, what we call the Punta del Este area, where uh, big half gravens and gravens develop. Uh, so the main place for, the, for this area are structural and stratigraphic uh, traps related to the gravens in the thin reef and also the post-reef sequence. But um, we can see that uh, this half graven, this is a seismic image of the Punta del Este Basin in the offshore of Uruguay. And these other images are from other basins, productive basins, for example, this is an example of Falkland basins. It's a very similar um, hemigraven 
where uh, they found uh, oil uh, two years ago. Also, uh, we, we have a, a very important analogy between Punta del Este Basin and Orange Basin that is in the other side of the South um, Atlantic. And here is uh, just to show you the Santos Basin because the pre-cult sequence is really the same that we can find in Uruguay uh, because it's, it's important to say, to mention that we don't have the salt, but the source of that are present here is, is the same that in Santos Basin. Also, one of the main prospects that we have and was one of the main drivers for companies to explore in Uruguay is related to turbidites. We have mapped with seismic uh, turbidites in Punta del Este and Pelotas Basin, Basin and also in deep waters. That's why it makes this area uh, very interesting. So uh, if, if, we, if you see seismic and when we do road shows, we always show the seismic uh, to companies so we, they can interpret uh, turbidite basin floor fans and other prospects that are present in our basins. You can see there is a lot of prospectivity and areas that uh, has a lot of potential. So um, to conclude, uh, I, I just want to remark that the Uruguay round two constitute the best bid round uh, result for a frontier area in 2012 with uh, an uh, exploratory commitment of $1.5 billion more than 38,000 square kilometers of 3D seismic uh, were acquired. Uh, one exploratory well will be drilled in deep waters in 2015, and the Uruguay Round 3 uh, coming next year will offer shallow and deep, deep and ultra deep waters. And it's important to remark that uh, Uruguay can offer political, economical, and social stability. That's our main strength. Um, the energy strategy is agreed by all political parties. Uh, there is an optimal business environment uh, uh, in Uruguay. Sound and fair bid round terms and contract models and an interesting geology that is still unexplored. So uh, this is uh, our web page where uh, all the people that is interested in knowing uh, uh, information about um, the bid round that is coming can find it here and also information regarding geology, contracts, etc. So just uh, leave you with some images of Uruguay. I invite you to Uruguay because it's a very nice country. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Bruno Conti. I can only subscribe to that. I have been in Montevideo. It's beautiful there. Questions, ladies and gentlemen? No questions. Bruno, you're released. Thank you so much. Okay.